Today, I'm testing how important personality is for your Wonder Kids in Football Manager. I'm doing this with twin Wonder Kids. One being the nicest person to have ever lived, so of course he's going to be named Peter Perfect. The other one has been an absolute douchebag since before the womb, so of course his name is Danny Douchebag. They both have 85 current ability and 185 potential ability, and they both play as a striker. The team that they're starting at is St Albans, who are currently in the National League South. We're going to sim through their career and see if having a good personality is actually that beneficial for your players or football manager, or whether you can get away with having people with bad personalities. Let's go and find out. So as you can imagine, Peter Perfect has a 20 in all of the good personality attributes, such as teamwork, professionalism, and loyalty, and he has a 1 in the bad ones, like controversy and dirtiness. Danny Douchebag, on the other hand, has it completely the other way, with a 20 in dirtiness and controversy, and a 1 in all the other important ones. The visible attributes are really well rounded, so that they can play in any position that they really wanted. However, Danny Douchebag has a bit of a head start, because his personality is so bad, if I gave him the same stats as Peter Perfect, his current ability would be way less. Now that's out the way, let's sim through the first year and see how they got on. Okay, now it's been a year, let's go and have a look at how the boys went. Starting off with Danny Douchebag. So it looks like this season, he played 23 league games, scoring 9 times and assisting 6. That's very decent considering that he came off the bench 11 times. It's also interesting that he's been trained to play out on the right wing. I'm guessing that's because they also wanted to play him and Peter Perfect both in the starting 11. But looking at the tactics, it seems that he played a majority of the games as the striker this year, which makes me wonder where they played Peter Perfect. So let's go and have a look. Okay, and wow, this did not take long at all. Peter Perfect has been picked up by Crystal Palace for a very cheap fee of 20000 Taking a look at how he went while he was at St Albans, it seems like he started every game that he played for them, bar one. But he only scored seven times. Then, after his move to Palace, he played in the under-18s for the whole year, only scoring two goals, and they were both penalties. Unfortunately, I can't see what position he played for when he was at Crystal Palace under-18s. However, I'm guessing it's as a right winger because when he was at St Albans, he played as a striker every game, and now he's proficient at playing on the right wing. Speaking of St Albans, they finished in fourth place this season. Hopefully Danny Douchebag can get them promoted into the National League next season. So let's go and find out. Okay, and it doesn't look like Danny Douchebag got St Albans promoted, which is disappointing. They finished fourth place again this year. Danny's had a much better year this time around, however, playing as a right winger for the whole season. And he finished with 12 goals and 12 assists in 44 games, averaging a 7.26, which is very good. But some worrying signs have started to show up about Danny Douchebag. Some of his stats have actually started regressing, but somehow his current ability is still now a 91. So he hasn't really improved that much, but he still has improved. It's probably because his physicals have improved very slightly. You would think that this regression is because of his bad attitude and bad personality. However, St Albans one and a half star training facilities might also be hurting him as well. Teams are obviously putting the regression and attitude to the side, as he's currently wanted by Salford in League 2, which is very promising. Peter, on the other hand, has stayed put in the Crystal Palace under-18s, and he's had some very nice improvements. He now has a 123 current ability, and he's started to become a really, really good player. He's had a very decent year as well, scoring 30 goals and assisting 18 in 65 games. Hopefully he can crack into the first team next year. So I'll meet back with you guys after the third year. Okay, and Peter Perfect has done it. He's made it into the first team. He made four starts and 17 appearances off the bench in the Premier League this season. Also collecting himself four goals and a very nice assist. In the Premier League, Palace also finished 12th this season. And when he was on, he played as a strike in every single game bar one. Moving over to Danny Douchebag. He made himself a move away from St. Albans this year, and he now plays for Morecambe, who are in League 2. The transfer fee was 43000 and this year Danny has actually been very average. He made 35 starts for Morecambe in the league, however he only scored 2 goals. And no, he hasn't been playing a majority of his games on the right wing. He played the majority as a striker, so maybe this level might just be too high for him. After all, his current ability is only 100. Actually, it was probably the fact that Morecambe finished in 21st place, missing out on relegation by goal difference. That's been the first three years, let's now have a look at the stats and compare the players and how they've gone. As we can see, Peter Perfect is clearly the better player at this stage. I'm now going to jump five years into their eighth season, and hopefully by then both of them are playing for the national team, and both of them are playing in the Champions League. Also before we sim, if you really like this video and Football Manager experiments, please make sure to leave me a like, subscribe, and a comment down below. It really helps the channel out and lets more people view these videos. Anyway, let's meet back in five years. Okay, it's been eight years, and we're doing this one live now. 
We're going to start off with Danny Douchebag and see how he's done. Okay, and interesting, he has now moved to Swansea for the last couple of years, actually, which is pretty interesting. We can see that he played three years at Morecambe, and his transfer fee actually went up to 300000 in the end, so I'm guessing they had a sell-on fee. But he did move from Morecambe to Swansea for $7 million a couple of seasons ago, and he's done all right for Swansea. His seasons at Morecambe, though, were okay. He did get them promoted into League One, though, so that's a decent accomplishment. As of late, he had probably his best season yet, scoring six goals and seven assists, and he averaged a 6.84 rating. If we take a look at what position he actually played, he did play half the season as a striker and half the season as a right winger. If we have a look at his stats, he has improved a bit, but there are some stats that have fallen well and truly down the order. Like corners is now a five and his free kick taking is now a four. In terms of him as a whole though, he has never played for England. He didn't have any youth caps and he still hasn't made a senior debut either. For his team Swansea though, they did actually get relegated this season, which is so disappointing. So they're going back down into League One. Also, a quick thing that you might have noticed is that his personality is now balanced, and that is because his professionalism has gone up to a six. I don't know how that makes him balanced, but apparently it does. Let's now go have a look at Peter Perfect and see how he's done, if he's moved on from Crystal Palace and he's now playing for a Champions League team. Okay, no, it looks like Peter Perfect is still playing for Crystal Palace. He's improved a heck of a lot with lots of green attributes in there. And he scored 23 goals in the latest Premier League season. Taking a look at his career, um, yeah, he's had some really good seasons in here. The last three seasons have been outstanding. The most recent season was obviously his best, but he's improved ever since he broke into the first team last time we checked in. Since then, his league appearances have just been going up and up and he's been scoring more and more goals every year, with never a downturn in his average rating. In terms of his personality, he's now a charismatic leader, which is awesome, and he has played 34 games for England, scoring 12. For Palace, he has played every game as a striker, and for England, the same as well. So, he's obviously now a striker, however, he can play as a cam and also a right winger. You may have also seen that there is an active interest on him with the wanted sign, and that is because Man United want him. Maybe he'll be going into the Champions League in the coming seasons. With a transfer value of 50 million to 150 million, some clubs are gonna have to fork out a lot of money to pay for his services, however. Moving back to Palace, Peters actually guided them into 10th place this year, which is a very decent effort. And we can see that he actually won the Golden Boot for the Premier League, which is another amazing achievement. Going to the Golden Boot, and he actually won it last season as well with 22 goals. So that's two years in a row that Peter Perfect's won the Golden Boot, and these are some very promising signs. His current ability is now 175, and that means that he's only 10 away from reaching his full potential. And considering that he's the key player for Palace and also the captain, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets snapped up really soon and goes on to great things in Champions Leagues and things like that. Now we've seen the boys when they're 23, let's now jump ahead all the way to when they're 30 to the end of their prime and see how they've done. All right, we've gone another seven years into the future and the boys are both 30 now and some really interesting things have happened. Starting off this time with Peter Perfect and he now plays for Man City. He was sold there for 102 million after the very next season when we looked and since then he has been absolutely dominating for Manchester City. His worst season has been the most recent season where he's only scored 10 goals but since then for every full season that he's done, he's scored at least 15 goals. In terms of his attributes, he's absolutely insane, and he has reached his potential ability of 185. In terms of how he's gone for England, he's made 106 caps and scored 48 goals, which is outstanding. He's now classed as a legendary striker and also still a charismatic leader. For this season though, we can see that for England and also for Man City, he played the majority of the year as a right winger. Coming to his milestones, and he's won the Premier League in his second season with Man City, and since then, he has been on an absolute tear, winning a second Premier's League and then also becoming the Ballon d'Or runner-up. And that was to Evan Ferguson, who won the Ballon d'Or for Liverpool. A couple of years later, he actually came third in the Ballon d'Or, losing to a regen, before winning it in the season that's just gone. In terms of other accomplishments, he's now won five Premier Leagues and three Champions Leagues, along with the Club World Cup. And he was also part of the England squad that did win the Euros in 2032. So, so far, it looks like having a really good personality is really beneficial. Let's go and see how the worst personality ever, Danny Douchebag, has gone on. I'm tipping it's nowhere near as good as Peter Perfect. And just by looking at his homepage, we can see that he's nowhere near as good as his brother. 
His stats are really not that much better than when we last checked, and he now plays for Reading. In his career, he played four more games after we last checked in for Swansea, then was bought by Bristol. And while he was at Bristol, he got them promoted into the Premier League, and then was loaned out the season that they were in the Premier League, and then bought by Reading for 18 million. If we have a look at his career as a whole though, he's a decent championship level player, but I understand why he's never made it to the Premier League. With the current ability of 115, it's understandable that he never made it into the top flight for more than two games. Looking at him as a whole though, he never made any caps for England and I'm tipping that he's not going to make any in the future. And in the most recent season, he came off the bench pretty much every game and he scored 6 goals. In terms of where Reading played him, majority of the time it was as a right winger. And he did play 5 games at striker scoring 5 goals, so maybe they should play him there more often. But overall for Danny Douchebag, it's gone how you would kind of expect. He really wasn't driven and he just obviously has too much controversy to make it up any better and become a better player. Now we've done that, let's move to the end of their careers and by then hopefully Danny Douchebag's made it into the Premier League but I'm not holding my breath. And hopefully Peter Perfect has won the Euros a couple more times, won a World Cup with England and won heaps more Champions Leagues and Premier Leagues. I'll see you guys then. Okay, this did not take long at all. Um, Dane Douchebag has retired after the very next season, so pretty disappointing. Unfortunately, I couldn't catch him right before he retired, but he obviously didn't play too many more games and wasn't offered another contract. So, looks like his career is over, and I would say that it's pretty definitive that he was nowhere near as good as Peter Perfect. Obviously, his personality meant that he just didn't want to play football anymore, and so he's packed the boots in, and he's not even going to be a staff member. Now Dane Douchebag's career is finished, let's go to the end of Peter Perfect's and I'll meet back with you guys then. Alright, Peter Perfect is retiring at the age of 36 in the year 2044. It's been a very good career, let's go dive into what he did since we last checked in. Okay, so it looks like he never moved away from Man City. He played the rest of his career there and was pretty dominant the whole way through. The last season that just finished, he only made six starts for the team, and I guess that was his calling to go, yep, I'm packing it in. In terms of personal achievements, he did win another Ballon d'Or, and that was in the year 2039-2040, so that's really impressive. And it looks like Peter Perfect was all that Man City needed because after he joined, they ended up going to win eight Champions Leagues. And in terms of Premier Leagues, Peter Perfect won it nine times. Uh, he joined in this year, 2032-33, when they won it, and they won it nine times since then. I'm just going to leave this page on for a few seconds and you can read through that if you really want to. In terms of his career though, he's an outstanding player. He ended with 175 caps for England and 79 goals and he really has just been Peter Perfect. Speaking of England though, the only other major tournament that he made it into a final was the World Cup in 2038 where they came runners up. But overall, I think this experiment has clearly showed us that personality in your Wonder Kids is extremely important. So if you're going to pick up a Wonder Kid who's got a fickle or a bad personality, I would err on the side of caution. And if you see a kid with model citizen or anything like that, absolutely spend as much money as you can on them because well it's clear the proof is in the pudding peter perfect has had a way better career than danny douchebag and it looks like peter perfect reached his potential ability way easier and way faster as opposed to danny douchebag who didn't even get close so obviously the personality has a lot to do with the way that they train and then the way that they develop anyway i'd just like to say thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far in the video i love you um, if you could just leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And if you like these kind of experiments, maybe check out this video here. It's a pretty good one. And I also have this one here for you as well. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.